Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Not achieving the score you want in your IELTS exam is a huge disappointment. However, it doesn't mean that it's the end of your dreams. You can retake the exam. For many people, the reason for getting a lower score than they need is that they take the test before they're really ready. Although IELTS is a simple exam, it's not easy. So you must keep learning and practicing your English until it's up to the required standard. There's lots of free help out there, including on my own website and videos. So make good use of all these resources. You can achieve the grade you want. So the first thing I'm going to say is prepare well. Then you won't have to worry about retaking the exam over and over again. But if you should have to retake, you'll need to know the rules. So here are six common questions about retaking the IELTS exam and their answers. Question one. How many times can I retake IELTS? You can take the exam as many times as you want. Whilst it's good to know this, passing in as few attempts as possible is obviously going to save you a lot of time and money. Prepare well and achieve the score you need first time so you can forget about it and get on with the rest of your life. Question two. How soon can I retake the test? There used to be a restriction on how soon after your original exam you could apply for a retake, but this is no longer the case. You can now sit the exam again as soon as you want to or as soon as your next application is processed. Question three. Can I retake just one or two parts of the exam, such as writing and listening? No, you can't. You must retake the whole exam. Question four. Will my previous IELTS score be taken into consideration? No, your previous result will not be taken into consideration. Each exam is unique and will be given a unique score. Question five. Will my original result still be valid if I retake the test? Yes, the IELTS score from any test you take will be valid for two years from the date of the exam. This means that should you do worse in your retake than in your original test, you can use the better score that you got first time around. And finally, question six. Can I combine the best individual scores from different tests? No, you can't. So you would not be able, for example, to select the best writing score from your first exam and the best speaking score from your retake. Another common question from candidates who get a much lower score than they expected is, should I ask for my test to be remarked? My advice is, don't ask for a remark unless you have a very good reason for thinking that a mistake has been made. Marking is strictly monitored and regulated and examiners are very experienced, so it is unlikely, although not unheard of, that there has been an error. There will always be people who believe that they should have got a higher mark than they did. However, any mistake made will almost certainly be the ones they've made themselves, not those of the examiner. I'll explain how you can get your test remarked in a minute, but first, Here's my recommendation for most people who don't get the band level they either want or expect. First, identify the key areas where you're making errors. Get experienced help to do this if you need to. Second, learn how to rectify these mistakes. And third, practice the new skills until you're no longer making the mistakes. This is obvious really, but there are so many people who blame the test or the examiner rather than themselves that it needs saying. So back to the subject of remarking. It's important for you to know that where there is a difference of a whole two bands between any of the four components of the test, that is the writing, speaking, reading and listening sections, your test will automatically have been remarked. For example, if your score was 6.5 for writing, 4 for speaking, 6 for reading and 6.5 for listening. And there's something else to consider if you think that either your reading or listening scores have been wrongly marked. The answer to the questions in these tests are either right or wrong 
and there's no judgment involved in marking them. It's thus very unlikely that an error has been made, so little point in asking for a remark. There is, however, one situation where you should consider getting your test remarked, and that's if you've taken the test before and your score was significantly higher. By significantly, I mean a whole band higher in any one element of the test. The two tests should have been taken within six months to a year of each other, or it may be that your English skills have deteriorated over time. If you do feel strongly that marking errors have been made and you want to remark, there's a set of procedures to follow. Here are the seven key facts. 1. A review or remark of your IELTS score is called an inquiry on results. 2. You must apply for it at your local test centre within six weeks of receiving your original results. 3. You'll be charged a fee. This will be refunded if your score changes. 4. You can ask for the whole exam to be remarked or specific skills such as speaking or writing. 5. Your test will be remarked by a senior examiner who won't know your original score. The process will take 4 to 7 weeks. 6. You are not allowed to use your original test report form until the remarking process is complete. And 7. If your score changes, you will be issued with a new test report form. The cost of both the IELTS exam and remarks varies between countries and from test centre to test centre, so you'll need to check the fee locally. It's very possible that the fee for a remark will be around half the cost of the actual exam, maybe more. The best decision may be to put in some more preparation and just retake the test. It will help you a great deal to understand the IELTS band score system. If you're not already familiar with it, you can learn more on my website. I put a link to the appropriate page in the notes below. This information is also covered in another of my videos, which you'll find on my YouTube channel. While everything we've looked at in this video is important for you to know, it isn't going to pass your exam for you. The only way you'll get the band score you want is to keep practicing your English skills, so that's what I recommend you do now. Please use all the free advice and lessons I offer, and I hope you'll soon be celebrating your success.